How's it going guys? Riggins Ridge here. Gonna go ahead and show you the finds I had at the Wentzville Flea Market today. And uh, got myself a little uh, smart battery charger. I'm gonna have to plug it in. Uh, I don't like the sound of that so I'm probably gonna wind up taking it apart and finding out what broke off in there. But uh, this is capable of doing like 18650s and looks like it's, uh, it says on here they can do all the way up to a uh, D cell. So we'll see. Anyhow, got that in the power cord. And then I uh, found a lady who was selling some uh, electronics boards. Um, these aren't electronics boards that I can tell, but what they do look to be is one of those metallic puzzles or uh, models that you uh, break apart and actually put together, assemble. So might be interesting uh, trying to do some DuckDuckGo or Google searching and see if I can find out what that's supposed to be. But as you can see, I only paid a dollar for it. Um, if anything, maybe I can use it for shim material if I have to. Same lady also had uh, just some bags of sorted uh, electronic components. Um, this one here I picked up, it had a few components and it looked like I could use. There were some electrolytic capacitors in there. And also picked up a whole container full of uh, PC board mount uh, potentiometers. Three dollars. Um, now I've got the smaller version of this already. But I uh, picked this little guy up for 15 bucks. Alltech Lansing uh, wireless speaker. A little solar panel. Uh, it still has the plastic wrap on the panels itself. I'm not going to pop it out here in this video. I'll probably do another one because I didn't realize that it kind of needs a little power bank to go along with it. Otherwise, you have to keep, I'm guessing you have to keep things plugged in. But it has a uh, socket for 12 volts and it also does. Uh, 5 volt, well, it says 6 point something, 6.5 volt, I think it was, for the uh, USB, yeah, 6.5 volt uh, on the output, I'm guessing, so that it can go ahead and charge a little bit quicker. Picked up one of these guys, I've had one of these, a little candle lantern, it wasn't marked on the table, it's new, it's never been uh, removed, uh, the paper hasn't been removed from the glass on it, and uh, picked that up for $1. found somebody selling a Grolsch hats and uh, that's been my favorite uh, adult beverage for a while here and my normal hats are all worn out. found a lady who was selling some uh, DVDs, seasons and sets and you know I mean a lot of people do streaming services but I kind of like to have some physical media on the shelf at least a representation of media if I already own it and you know it's kind of nice to actually have it on the shelf to look around at. So I picked these up. She had them uh, marked five dollars a piece, uh, or three uh, for three for ten. Basically, buy uh, two get one free. And um, this one hasn't even been opened, and the discs are all in great shape. So that's kind of fun. Something to entertain. Found somebody who was selling uh, just basically sunscreen, Hawaiian Tropic, and banana boat. Those were uh, 10 for a dollar, and uh, just so happens that those came in handy while at the flea market today. Found another gentleman who was selling um, uh, boomstick accessories and uh, cleaning gear. So this is a LR star chamber cleaning tool, and this is an AR star chamber cleaning tool, and then the little star wads that you use. And this is an Otis 45 caliber ripcord. I uh, paid no attention to the price that's on it. I wound up uh, asking him how much he wanted for it, and he charged me $10 for the whole lot there. Then we have, I found this, and just out of curiosity, I asked the guy how much it was uh, going to run. This is a LR 20 round PMAG. And uh, when the guy told me $10, I know that it's worth at least that. pick this little guy up. Uh, I have seen it up there before. I don't know if it functions yet or not, but I went over and just asked the curiosity question how much he asked him for it, man, and uh, he wanted 10, and I didn't know if it works or not, you know, and then I turned around and looked at the fact that it's paired up with a, an antenna that appears to be for, like, sure microphone or music receiving equipment. have to actually look into what this is for, but asked him if he would take five for it, and he agreed, so... A little while here, I'm going to go through and see if this is actually uh, functional or not. If so, then it was definitely worth the $5. If not, I don't have a use for this sure antenna. 
I don't know, maybe I can sell it on eBay or something. If I don't need it. I have a tendency to just keep that kind of stuff. I uh, always wind up finding a use for it at a later date. Anyhow, so that was the finds for the day. Uh, let's see, so $10, $5, $10, $10, Grolsch hats, two for uh, $2. $2, $2, $3, $1, $5, $15, $15, and $2. Not too bad. I also picked up some fresh vegetables from Orlando's Produce. He's always set up up there, and that's really nice. You get some fresh green beans for dinner tonight. and got some strawberries and a cantaloupe. It's going to be a nice evening. Now off to go get some yard work done.